Okay, and welcome back to Demi Kids. We're starting off, where, or we're starting where we left off yesterday, um, and we are trying to go through to the place. Um, forgot. Sorry, I forgot to put up the uh, the stats and stuff for the other monsters that we fought yesterday. But we'll ha run into a pixie here. Um, it's a different coloration of Pixie, which I've played this a couple times, and I've read a couple guides, and it doesn't say anything to what the other color means. I'm assuming it means that it's slightly stronger. Um, and this is technically the first boss fight. Um, but there's no real difference into this Pixie and another one. Um, I am going to heal off Wingling a little bit. And Wingling can do Tornado. That's not going to deal all that much. Oh well. I'll just attack. Um, Gale's not going to take any damage. As you can see, that pi this pixie is not very strong. And I need not to do the skills because it does a lot more that way. Um. I'm sure we'll run into the other ones soon enough. Um, so, if not, Mini Icy will pop up now. Okay, so, yeah. You could go down there, but there's nothing really there. Um, go up to the roof. There's nothing really on the roof except for the door, so we're going to go in the door. We come in here, we figure they have to be somewhere, but they're not here. Um, so if we look around, we can talk to this guy. And... He came in here and he was looking for them because he saw them come in here, but they didn't come in here. There's nothing else in this room, you can go out. But then... Something's gonna be here. Alright. Twisting of dimensions. And then... A flying gate. Why would you make a gate that has wings on it? I have no idea. It's the dim gate. We're in rim right now. Ha. Huh. This is Farlow. We saw him from the beginning. Um, he's kind of the chancellor to Lucifer. Which we will find out later that Lucifer and, and Farlow are good people in this game instead of common misconceptions. Um, and he wants us to be here to help out with the time rifts that are causing a problem. I don't know if the music's being picked up. I hope it is. I think the beeping is, because I was being quiet. I saw the thing jumping when I would press it. <sighs> so that means we have to go talk to Lord Lucifer. So to do that, we're going to go through the gate through the gate. And now we are in dim. Okay, we have this small patch of field, and here there are pixies and two new enemies. The Hootie and the Cupid, I think, if I'm missing one, it'll pop up up there as well. Um, not the best. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot one. Um, we have... 
one that I kind of want to get. Um. Aww. That's the sheep. Or sheep. And then Hootie. There should be... Maybe Cupid's not here. Cupid's in the next area. But anyway... Now we get fantastic, super awesome, explaining stuff hour! Okay, the one with S is the shop. You can buy stuff from this purple demon. Which will be, like, not very good for this right now, because we can't do it. Besides the dim wood map. Dim wind map. Which will be good for us to have. And you can also buy stuff from the... Nope, this is still pop talking to the purple demon. From the green demon. Which we can buy stuff that we could actually use at the time. Angel wings are good. I'm going to get one of those. That'll teleport you back to the city that you last were at. Actually, it teleports you back to the last inn that you were at. Which then... The inn is this place. Here you will sleep. Here they will re revive any fallen demons. Um, out of my way. Actually, in this game, you want to talk to everybody. Because... Most of the time they have good information, except for here at the beginning, to where you need to go, or they will give you some items. Here is just a random house, which you can go in and talk to this guy. Um, it's also usually good to check a lot of stuff in this game, because you can find random stuff. This is the Fusion Center, which I'll be getting to in a second, probably in the next episode. Um, and that looks like it for right now. So, I am going to go out here and... Actually, no, I'll go to the next area. I'll go over here. Um, next area we can be in. Here there's cupids. There's also water demons called tsunamis. As we can see there. Um, come on, yeah! And you can see the little got symbol under that. That will be, uh, that we already have that demon. Except for I kind of want to get her as well. Um... Questioning. Oh, no. Do I get another recruit chance? No, I don't. Actually, no. Attack the hoodie? No, I don't. Because I kind of should try to get the hoodie. Another defense boost. This is not good. And you're missing! <laughs> and now I'm gonna speed this up. Actually, I should try to have gotten it again. <laughs> this defense increases even more. Use magic again. Again. He said he was forceful at the beginning, which obviously that's not going to be. I believe critical hits work the same as they do in, like, Pokemon, that they, uh, stab through, uh, stuff. 
And here we have Cupid. Um, another good one to try to get. Um. Oh, Cupid, please. Well, I mean, it's not a good one to get, but it's a uh, Cupid. Also, it's a big name, Eros. Um, this little backstory on Cupid. Um, Cupid's a level four demon, which makes him not as good. Um, but he also has Latin name, uh, Amor. And in the mythology, he's the son of Venus and Mars. Which technically there's only one, but, um, and this one there's many. So I'm going to go back to the town. And next time, you will see me grinding, if you will, up some monsters. No, okay, fine. This one's the end. The other one's the unconscious one. But anyway, have a good time. I am Dr. Jasmine. Thanks for watching. Have a good time.